What's up tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I hope you like this video. This is a retro review for the Real Housewives of New Jersey season three episode seven. So we pick up where we left off. I know it's been about two weeks since I've given you a retro review, but we pick we left off with Teresa and Melissa having their big sit down where they're going to agree to just move forward and, and leave the past in the past. Now, we know in real time that that clearly has not worked. But even if I was watching this in in the moment, I would have told you this wasn't going to work. And I'm going to tell you why. Two reasons why this was never going to work. Reason number one, because Teresa didn't want to discuss what happened to get them there. Listen, I'm a firm believer. I don't feel like you need to like overanalyze every little thing that happened. But I do think that you have to understand how we got here. What is the reason why me and you just don't seem to click. And at the end of the day, Teresa didn't want to discuss it because Teresa really didn't want to be honest about the part she played in the breakdown of the relationship. I think that there was a breakdown on both ends. Let's be clear. Um, but ultimately, you feel like Melissa is a gold digger. You feel like Melissa targeted your brother and went after your brother because he had money and you never respected that. You never respected her. You never respected that. You under And you felt like because he was your brother that he should have listened to you when you told him, leave Melissa alone. She's no good. And he didn't. And that's really where I think the breakdown comes. Now, on the flip side, Melissa, you know, I wasn't there, but I feel like you probably did some things to antagonize the situation too. So number one, I knew it wasn't going to work because if we can't have an honest conversation about how we get here, how do we stop from getting here again? How do we prevent this from happening again if we can't even talk about how we got here, right? The second reason why I knew this was never going to work is because Teresa wanted Melissa to take all of the blame and she didn't want to take any of the blame on herself. It was all... And everybody had to keep telling her, Caroline, Jacqueline, everybody had to keep telling her, well, Teresa, you did things too. Teresa, you have to take responsibility too. Teresa, you have to acknowledge your part in this too. And Teresa never wanted to do that. Now, again, I'm not saying that Melissa didn't do anything to Teresa, but I'm saying that in that moment and in that conversation, that's how I knew this wasn't going to work. Again, fast forward, we know it doesn't work now, but I knew in the moment it just wasn't going to work. But, you know... We're going to give it an A for effort, child. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Also in this episode, we see Cousin Kathy. She is trying to get a restaurant, right? She is trying to get her husband to get her a restaurant. So we see her shopping around. Um, that's her part of this, the contribution to this, to this episode, is that she is shopping around trying to... Um, uh, Get a restaurant, okay? Um, now, the majority of the rest of this episode, Teresa, um, Teresa, Joe, Jacqueline, and her husband, they go down to the cabin in the woods that the Judice family has that the, the uh, I think Joe's father built the house, and that's kind of like been... Their little house, they go hunting and, and, and camping and, and do all of the things that you do with the cabin in the woods and have a good family weekend, right? Um, of course, again, they're bringing up the fact that Teresa and Joe are going through these money problems and, you know, we we see them slowly creeping that into the storyline, right? Um, later on, Jack, uh, Carolyn comes down with the two boys, um, I'll be... And Chris, and shout out to Albie who is getting married this weekend in Rome in real time. Shout out to him and the whole Manzo family. They all loaded up and flew to Rome. Congratulations to them. They just look like a beautiful, beautiful family. I really love them. I hope that I still love them at the end of me reviewing these back episodes. But I really, really do love them. Anyway, moving on. I sent a little message to Caroline down to her Instagram. She didn't respond, but it's okay. My feelings ain't hurt. Um... Anyway, so with that being said, honestly, they're down at the house. They're getting drunk. They're, um, you know, they had a, a pizza baking contest, which was really fun. Um, we find out, I mean, they, they talked about sex. We found out that Joe told Teresa he don't, she don't give good fellatio. But on the other hand, uh, Jacqueline's husband said that she's great. So Joe told Teresa that she need to get lessons it was a whole thing. It was a lot. I, 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 way too much that I needed to know about either couple, if you really want to know the truth of the matter. Although I'm not really surprised that Teresa is not that good at getting ahead. 
But moving on. Um, Teresa seems like a pillow princess to me. But I, see, they got me thinking about stuff that I don't really want to think about. Um, Carolyn comes down. And I think she's kind of over it at this point. I think, again, looking back at things in hindsight, I think at this point, when I say over it, I mean, I think she's starting to see some things about Teresa that she doesn't like. I think before it was, it was easy to be caught up in the day yell of it all. And because they had that common enemy, I think it was easy for everybody to focus on how much they did not like Danielle and let a lot of other stuff slide. I think Caroline started seeing it last year with the whole incident at the, um, at the, um, Brownstone where Teresa, in my opinion, elevated the situation. And I think she started seeing it last year, but I think she really, really is seeing it now with the whole Melissa piece and, and just seeing some things that I think she's just not crazy about, but she's still keeping the peace. And, you know, you don't throw somebody away because you see some things about them you're not crazy about. You don't throw the whole the whole thing away. But I I, I just, I just, I think she's starting to see some cracks. Um, You know, when they pull up, they're shooting off the gun. And she's just, you know, she just don't seem to be too uh, excited about that whole piece of it. Uh, she didn't want Albie and Chris to ride the four-wheelers because she said she had a friend in high school that, you know got decapitated riding on the four-wheeler so she was kind of over it they went into town and they did a little shopping um and then they went to the chapel that is on the property and carolyn and jacqueline could not stop laughing even though it was a little disrespectful that they were in the chapel but i understood why they were laughing it was just a it was like literally we were just shooting off guns and talking about fellatio and like uh, within walking distance, we are in a whole chapel, you know. So I get it, I get it. Um, but this episode really, really wasn't a whole lot more to it. I mean, it was really, honestly, it was sort of a slow episode to watch, to be, to be honest. But again, it was just letting you see a little more of the home life. You know, you you see the family, you know, the whole family dynamic and stuff like that. So that's what it was. And we get right head into the um, holidays. Um, Towards the end of the episode, I think we were at a dance recital or some situation where Melissa and uh, Gorga um, and the mom was there. And we saw Joe and his mom, you know, having a good time. And Melissa was saying how she really, really, you know, um, wants him to have a good relationship with his mom. And she, you know, never wants to be the reason why they're not having a good relationship. Um... We find out that Kathy, Kathy's father and Teresa's father had a falling out over $200. And Teresa, even though, you know, she was willing to sit down with Melissa, she's still not ready to process and deal with whatever her and Kathy have going on. So, there's that. Anyway, that was pretty much the episode, you guys. I mean, it might have been a little, little odds and ends here and there, but that was pretty much what happened. It wasn't a whole lot to this episode. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.